these are exciting times for breast cancer. Uh, we know a lot more about breast cancer and the American Society of Breast Diseases is a fantastic organization to belong to because they have a multidisciplinary approach to treating breast cancer. Just like we know that breast cancer is not one disease, we also need to make sure that we have multiple specialties treating women with breast cancer. Uh, in the area of prevention, we now have better ideas about the genes that cause inherited breast cancer, and women need to talk to genetic counselors if they have a family history. We now know that women need to have surgeons who understand risk factors for breast cancer and can help them figure out the best primary treatment for their breast cancer. We know that women need oncologists who know how to pick out the best drug combinations to treat their breast cancer. And increasingly, we're working with psychologists, with social workers, with people who help our patients live beyond breast cancer, who help them get better lifestyles. So I think that this society is really poised to help the oncology community take better care of women with breast cancer. So we have come a very long way in terms of helping our patients get the privacy they need. And that's why all those privacy laws were passed. So we have not been able to document any case of genetic discrimination. And that's good. And that's because uh, breast cancer advocates worked with physicians to help pass laws, both at the state level and at the federal level, that prohibit genetic discrimination. You know, we're now living in the post-genome age. We're living in an age where treatments are going to be personalized. You know, we're going to do personalized medicine. And to do it, we must use genetics in the clinic. And doctors have to learn how to protect their patients' privacy. And hospitals have to guarantee that their patients' privacy is protected. Because that's the way forward. A woman with BRCA mutation now may need treatments that depend on knowing that they are BRCA mutation carriers. And we're not going to say because we're worried about genetic discrimination, we're not going to get the best drug into that patient. So that's why we all have to embrace efforts to protect patients' privacy. But we should not use genetic discrimination as a reason not to offer patient genetic testing, when it can help them, when it can help their family, when it can mean the difference between living or dying with ovarian cancer. We've had significant scientific advances. And what's really good about the American Society of Breast Disease is that they bring in a multidisciplinary approach to breast cancer. They bring in advances from the laboratory to benefit women with breast cancer. So when we talk about personalized medicine and individualized medicine, we're hoping that we can take every single breast cancer patient as a unique individual with their unique risk and their unique lifestyles, and that their doctors will develop a plan of management that fits that woman. Because we know one size fits all is not the way to go anymore. And so that's why a society like this has to advance the science of making the care of every woman a personal one.